guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here my name is Megan and today is going to be football snacks part two I filmed a football game day snacks video back in the fall and you all seem to love it so with Super Bowl coming up in like exactly two weeks I thought this would be a perfect time to do a football game day snacks part two with some fun new recipes so if that's something that you want to watch then just keep on watching okay so our first recipe that's on the docket for our football game day snacks is going to be a no bake eclair cake this cake has literally like four ingredients in it as i mentioned it's a no bake so super easy to put together and this is the perfect thing to feed a crowd whether you're hosting a football party or even going to a football party this would be the great thing to package up and take it takes no time at all the only thing is you need about eight hours to refrigerate it so i suggest on the day that you're making it you can make it early in the morning and then let it set so you could have it for the game for that night or possibly even making it the night before and just letting it be in the fridge overnight. But super easy, super delicious, perfect game day dessert. So like I was saying, you literally need four ingredients. For the lineup, you need a box of graham crackers. You can either do cinnamon or honey. Um, I just got honey, but either is fine. You need a tub of chocolate icing. I just have the Pillsbury chocolate fudge. You need the family size or two regular packets of Jell-O French vanilla or regular vanilla. I could not find the French in my store, so I just got regular vanilla. I actually got the zero sugar or the sugar-free version. Um, I use sugar-free all the time for my desserts, and you can't even tell a difference, so got that. And then you need a tub of whipped topping or Cool Whip. So in a bowl, you're gonna add three and a half cups of milk. I just went ahead and added that very quickly. And then to that, you're gonna add your pudding package. Then we're gonna whisk this together. pretty thick and we are going to set it off to the side and let it kind of set while we get the bottom layer of our cake for casserole dish I have my graham crackers and we are going to just put a layer of graham crackers on the bottom Pudding's been set for about five minutes. As you can see, it's like very, yeah. Reese is like Whoa, stunned how thick it's gotten. Crazy. It's like barely moving. Yeah. Now we are gonna fold in one whole tub of our Cool Whip.
that was super easy. So now it's all nice and well blended. Now we are going to add half of this mixture on top of our graham crack mixture. Then pour like half of this. on top and very carefully with my spatula just spread it out nice and evenly layer of our French vanilla eclair mixture. We're going to add a second layer of our graham crackers. second layer of graham crackers we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our eclair mixture second layer of our eclair mixture on, we're going to add our third and final layer of graham crackers. see that we have our third and final layer on our eclair cake with our graham crackers so next we are going to take our entire tub of frosting our chocolate frosting we're going to melt this for 15 second increments until it's fully melted okay. so i've got my frosting all nice and melted it took about 55 seconds total to melt the whole thing now i'm just going to go ahead and pour it on and then smooth it all out salt I didn't even have to smooth it out I literally just poured it on and it just kind of went where it needed to go so now that this is all nice and put together we are completely done we can go ahead and cover this with some foil and then we're going to refrigerate this for eight hours so into the fridge it goes all right you guys so the next recipe on the docket is going to be the colt favorite which i am most excited for the cheeseburger spring rolls you guessed it from disney world from magic kingdom i found the recipe on pinterest that literally comes out of the disney's official cookbook that has all the fan favorite snacks and entrees and drinks and all the fun stuff that you can get in the park so i figured what better way to do a football super bowl party with a fan favorite from Disney World. I am so excited to try these. These I have heard nothing but amazing reviews about. So I'm ex super excited to try these. I think these are gonna be the perfect appetizer to bring to the football game, to bring to the football party. And I think everyone's gonna love them. So let's start them. All right, so everything that you're gonna need for your spring rolls is, of course, you're gonna need to get some spring roll or egg roll wraps. You can find these in the like produce section, the cold 
section of your grocery store, you're gonna need a pound of ground beef. I just have 80-20. You will need some shredded cheese. I just have a sharp cheddar, one egg. You will need half of a yellow onion, some garlic, some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Okay, so I just quickly have got my saute pan on the oven. I just threw some, veg um, some olive oil into the pan getting it nice and hot. And I have half of a yellow onion. I just went ahead and diced. And I'm just going to saute that up. And then just let this saute for like 30 seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our ground beef. I just have one pound left from like a big container that I had used for another recipe. And we are just gonna grind this all up, get it nice and fully cooked. While our ground beef is cooking, I figured I would go ahead and make a sauce. I figured it would be good to do a dipping sauce with our spring rolls. The recipe doesn't call for one, but I found a Big Mac sauce um, that I'm going to use as our dipping sauce. So I figured I'd go ahead and make that. Let me tell you the lineup. So you're going to need mayonnaise, yellow mustard, sweet relish, Ketchup, white wine vinegar, some salt, garlic powder, and some onion powder. So, we are going to do a half a cup of mayonnaise. Then we're gonna add uh, two tablespoons of our relish. A little bit like that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> we're just kinda eyeballing, guys. And then you're going to need one tablespoon of ketchup. I should probably put aprons on. <laughs> this is a, I definitely should. Wow. I have a white shirt on. Yeah. Then you need one teaspoon of yellow mustard. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm gonna do two. It calls for a half a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. And then a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna stir it all up. Reese, you wanna stir? Sure. All right, Reese is gonna stir it all up for us. Taste test. It's kinda sour. It's really good though. This tastes just like Big Mac sauce. Only come on, Big Mac You've never had Big Mac sauce? Yeah. Well, you would not have had even a Big Mac in your <laughs> life because there's no way you could probably ever yeah. eat a Big Mac. But okay, our dipping sauce is set. I'm gonna just set it over to the side, and we're gonna go back 
to our cheeseburger mixture. I don't know what happened to my camera, it stopped recording, but I just showed you guys I've added my drained ground beef back to my pan. I've got it set on low and I've just added one tablespoon of yellow mustard and then a tablespoon of ketchup. I'm just kind of making sure it's all nice and coated evenly. Next into the mixture, we're gonna add 10 tablespoons of shredded cheese. I just went ahead and shredded up my sharp cheddar. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball. That's about 10 tablespoons. Just kind of eyeballed it. And get this all nice and melted and ooey gooey. So I didn't take it but like a minute, but I think it's nice and melted now. So now I'm gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna go ahead and start assembling our spring rolls. Okay, so I've kind of got my assembly station. I have my little egg spring roll wrapper. I have my one egg that you need beaten and this is just gonna help seal the spring roll but I'm gonna show you guys as we go. I have my mixture here off to the side and I'm just gonna take probably about a spoonful and we're just gonna put it in one corner and we are going to fold the sides in and then we're gonna roll, roll, dip our fingers, and then seal. And there we have our cute little spring roll. So I'm just gonna keep assembling. completely ready to go. I'm going to do it just a little bit di different when it comes to cooking them. I found a way to do them in the air fryer. So instead of like putting them in like a big pan that's in like with oil and just pan frying them, I just figured it would just be better. Just a little bit healthier version and a little bit easier cleanup of doing them in the air fryer. So I also wanted to mention that. So we're gonna throw them in the air fryer. I believe they go in for 380 for like 12 to 15 minutes, but I'm gonna show you guys. So as you can see, I've got them in my air fryer pans. I am gonna cook these at 375 for 12 minutes. It says 12 to 16 minutes, but halfway through, I am going to take them out and I'm gonna flip them. Oh my goodness. These look perfect. Oh yeah, nice and crispy. This was right at the 12 minute mark. I cannot get over how good these look. Holy cow. These are gonna be amazing. Yum. My goodness, look. So amazing, so beautiful. They smell and are incredible. I cannot wait till these cool off and I can try them. Our last and final gang day snack is going to be easy jalapeno bites. These are gonna be super easy, super delicious, and again, a perfect thing to serve at the football party that you're either hosting or you're going to. So let's go into the lineup. So for this recipe, you are gonna need cream cheese, pepper jack cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, or just cheddar cheese, jalapenos, green onions, some pre-cooked bacon, and then some Tostito scoops. I just have the multi-grain. As you can see, I went ahead and shredded up my cheeses, my green onion, my bacon, and then my jalapeno. Now, mind you, I have split this recipe in half because the recipe calls for 48 chips, oh. and since it's just the family, 
Uh, we probably only need 24 of these. So like I said, we're only gonna be using like half of what you really need for the recipe, but let's go ahead and get all this mixed together. So I'm gonna go ahead and instead of using the eight ounces, which the recipe calls for, I'm just gonna cut it in half and do four. Cause like I said, we only need half of this. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese, but we are going to save just a little bit for the top. So just like leave just like a little bit of it. And we're going to add in our jalapeno and I'm gonna save some of the green onions for the topping and then go ahead and Add our bacon and again I'm gonna say some bacon for some of the topping and we're gonna combine this And then we are going to put these in the oven at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. Okay, I'm praying that all of this has cooled off because I'm starving and I'm dying to try everything. So I'm gonna try one of the jalapeno bites. I'll show you guys. A yum e. You can definitely tell that it's got cream cheese in it. Which I love cream cheese, so it's not a problem. Mm. And the cream cheese, uh, the green onion gives it really good bite and flavor. Kind of makes it like a little bit fresher. And then the bacon, mm. seriously, such a great little appetizer at your next party football themed or not amazing. Okay. Now, now we are gonna try the cult favorite cheeseburger spring rolls. And I'm definitely dipping it in my homemade Big Mac sauce. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Mm. Mm. I see why this is a cult favorite. This is amazing. You wouldn't ever think to put a cheeseburger in a spring roll, but my word. Mmm. You have to. If you make anything, you have to make these, please. This is just amazing. I'm, gonna, I'm about to, I'm about to double dip. That's what I'm about to do. <laughs> A little piece. Let's see if I can even. Look at that. Oh yeah. I'm very excited. makes it rich but the like eclair mixture like the pudding makes it like light it's 
It's really good. I don't see how anybody would not like this. The graham crackers are also soft. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is amazing. All right, you guys, so that's going to conclude today's football game day snack video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of them, if you tried them all yourself, which ones you tried, if you liked them. I had so much fun cooking this video with you guys. I love doing these kinds of videos. It's fun. And these, again, are the perfect snacks for any kind of party, but especially a Super Bowl party. Again, let me know which team you're rooting for this year, and I hope you all have an amazing Super Bowl party day. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit the bell for notifications so you never miss a video with me. Go follow me over on Instagram, and I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, I gotta take away your story.